Now let us see what else you know about today's adventure. The birth of John the Baptist is recorded in the Gospel according to Luke. Do you know what source Luke used to write about the life of Jesus? Was it A, a story his grandmother told him, B, something he was taught in Sunday school, C, a story he made up in his imagination, or D, a history he collected from eyewitnesses? The correct answer is D, a history he collected from eyewitnesses. Luke carefully investigated the life of Jesus, talking directly with eyewitnesses who saw the events as they happened. He wrote his book while many of the people who knew Jesus were still alive. Historians admire Luke for his accuracy and attention to detail. Luke took great effort to make sure his account was well-researched, accurate, and organized. He knew that the history he was writing was very important. Next question. Chris and I learned that Zechariah and Elizabeth were descendants of a very famous person. Do you know the name of Zechariah and Elizabeth's famous relative? Was it A. David B. Aaron C. Luke Or D. George Washington The correct answer is B. Aaron Zechariah says, My wife and I are descended from the family of Aaron. Aaron was the brother of Moses and was with him when Moses confronted Pharaoh. O mighty Pharaoh, thus says the Lord God of Israel, let my people go. Zechariah and the other priests who served Israel were descendants of Aaron. Not only was Zechariah from Aaron's family tree, so was his wife Elizabeth. That's right, John the Baptist's father and mother were a part of the priestly bloodline. Those are our questions for today. Now let us see what else we can learn about the birth of John the Baptizer. My husband has gone to Jerusalem for his week of service at the temple. Zechariah served in the temple in Jerusalem. The Roman author Pliny the Elder referred to Jerusalem as the most famous city of the East. Today, Jerusalem has a population of more than 750,000 people. You should go now, Zechariah. The road to Jerusalem is long and the day will be hot. Just a day's journey, Elizabeth, but not a burdensome one. Elizabeth and Zechariah lived within a day's walk of the holy city. Many believe that they lived at a place called Ein Kerem. Today, about 2,000 people live there. This church was built on the site that some believe was Zechariah and Elizabeth's house. Mary traveled from her home in Nazareth to visit Elizabeth. Nazareth was a small village located to the west of the Sea of Galilee. Before this church was built in Nazareth, archaeologists excavated the site and discovered wine and olive presses dating to the time of Jesus. The modern church was built to honor the angel's visit to Mary. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. The church was built over a synagogue that was constructed about 200 years after Jesus' resurrection. It says his name is John. What? This painting, created around the time of John, shows some of the writing materials from that day. You can see on the left a papyrus roll and ink pot. Papyrus was not reusable and was a costly option for writing small notes. It is more likely that Zechariah used a wax board. He could write a note and then soften the wax to erase his words so he could reuse the tablet. John grew up and became strong in spirit. The first century historian Josephus refers to John the Baptist as a good man who persuaded the Judeans toward a reverence to God. And you, my little son, will be called the prophet of the Most High because you will prepare the way for the Lord. The angel of the Lord and Zechariah both made prophecies about John the Baptist. They said he would grow up to be a prophet and he would prepare people for the coming of Jesus. And they were right. I baptize with water those who repent of their sins and turn to God. But someone is coming soon who is greater than I am. Today's Superverse is Luke 1.45. You are blessed because you believed that the Lord would do what he said.
that's all we have time for today. Just remember, God's word never fails. <laughs>